share this. So, an important word for this season. Allow again let the Spirit of God direct you. Amen. Um, the Lord puts something in my heart. I'm going to start in the next two minutes. Oh, God bless you, people of God. I pray that you receive it oh, with the fire of the Spirit of God. Amen. Um, and I pray for all those that are about to listen and take heed uh, to the Word of God. Amen. God be the glory. Um, we had a great service yesterday for those of you that came out. And um, I expect a great service on Sunday. Uh, Pastor Danny with Zion Christian Ministries uh, International. Um, log on and share this. The Valley of Decisions, right? Um, the Valley of uh, Making Decisions. Um, share this like this. Especially my <clears throat> women that hear this. Share this with men that you know. Um, share this with men uh, that you're connected with. I believe there's a very important word. Got knocked off. Sorry about that. Share this. Share this. Amen. God bless you all. God bless you all. God bless you, Lala. God bless you, people of God. Share this. Amen. I'm about to embark on this journey. Um, I pray. Let's say a prayer before we start. In the name of Jesus, I pray for all my hearers, for everybody uh, that's about to hear this, uh, for everybody that's about to engage in this in the name of Jesus. I pray that God speak to you, that God enlighten you, that God enlighten your heart, that God enlighten um, your knowledge, uh, that God enlighten a new season that he's doing in your life, and that uh, the Lord just uh, even open doors to you, open doors for you today in the name of Christ Jesus. Amen. So, I'm not going to be long, but I want to tell you um, the most important thing in life. You know, we know we read the Bible and we pray and we worship God. Um, but the most important thing in life is making decisions, right? Is making a decision. Um, when you choose to make a decision, you don't stand in your neutral point. Um, you're not stagnant. You make decisions, right? And I really want to address men today. I know women, but men. Um, we, we're, we're in a generation where men um, can't make a decision. Men can't make a decision to raise their children. Men can't make a decision um, to be in a family. Um, men have been uh, very double-minded in this generation when it comes to making decisions and being assertive in decision-making. Uh, we read the book of James, chapter 1, verse 8. It says, a double-minded man um, should not expect anything. Watch what it says in the Word of God. It says a double-minded man is in, un, unstable in everything he does. He's unstable with everything in his life. And I believe the enemy, uh, especially is attacking the men of our church, uh, the men of this generation, with instability is the spirit of limbo. You know, they don't know where they're going, right or left. Uh, the valley of decisions. Uh, undecisive with their purpose. Undecisive with uh, what they want to do in life. Undecisive with their goals, undecisive with their dreams, undecisive with their visions. And we really need to have a spirit of standing um, by our decisions and being responsible, being responsible for decisions that we make. Um, I believe when you choose not to make a decision, you've already made a decision. And I really want to challenge you all. There's decisions that have been unsettled. There are decisions that you still have to make. There are things that you still have to do. Um, you, you know, the, the, the reason you're in this situation is because you have still not made a decision. Come on, that's for somebody. The reason you're still stuck in the same cycle that you've been on in the last 10 years, in the last decade, is because it's no one to blame. You got to take responsibility for the good, bad, and the ugly, but we need to make decisions. Um especially for my men out there. You know, Eve was very attracted to Adam uh, because Adam was a decision maker. Women, especially those of you that are married, that are courting, that are engaged, men, learn how to make decisions. Um, that, that, that would even uh, bring a higher attraction for your wife, for your spouse, when you just simply learn how to make decisions. I'm going to give you an example, men. Um, when you're about to go eat with your wife and you say, hey, where do you want to eat? She's like, I don't know. Where do you want to eat? I don't know. Where do you want to eat? No, a man, a man stays faithful decision and says, you know, we're going to go here. And I'm going to surprise you. I'm going to, but he, he's a decision maker. You know, I always make it a, a, an objective or my business to even jot down the decisions I'm going to make for the day, the goals I have planned out, because then nobody can take me off my center. If you don't have your decisions made out for you today, even within prayer, people are going to make decisions for you. 
um, people are going to knock you off your center. You're going to be unstable with everything. You're going to be unstable with your goals, with your dreams. You're not going to uh, worship God. One day you're in church, one day you're not in church. One day you're in your purpose, one day you're not in your purpose. One day you're praying, one day you're not. You are very insufficient or deficient with your decision making. And one thing about an apostolic person, especially an apostolic man is, Jesus said it, let your yes be yes and your no be no. You are decision makers. You are called to create. That's why when God says I've given you free will, when God says I've given you free will, what he's saying, I've given man such a great benefit that I've given you the opportunity to be decision makers. Uh, and, and I believe we're stagnant. I believe we're lazy. Uh, I believe we, um, we're we blaming society. We're blaming churches. We're blaming our government because we haven't chose uh, this is why Elijah um, uh, in Mount Carmel, he said, choose today who will you serve? Will, you, will, will Baal be your God? Then serve Baal. But if Jehovah be your God, then serve Jehovah. And I believe we're in that double-minded stage where people just don't know what they want. People are in a, a, um, a state of discombobulation. They're in a stage of confusion. Even a spirit of stupor has came upon them because simply... They're not making decisions. Apostolic men, uh, share this with men if you know men, because men need to be assertive in their decisions. A masculine man and, a, and an, an apostolic man, may, if he says he can write a book, he can write a book. Ain't no one gonna knock over center. If he say he's gonna be a pastor, he's gonna be a pastor. Ain't nobody gonna knock over center. No one's gonna knock him off his center. If he say, if a man say he's gonna start his business, he's gonna start his business. There's no one gonna stop him. No one is going to stop him from what he's doing. He's going to be unpenetrable. He's going to be unpregnable. Um, uh, so today, if you choose to worship God, then be faithful to your local ministry. Be faithful to where your local assembly, where you're worshiping at. Make a decision. I mean, the world sometimes is kind of the way it is because people just don't want to make decisions. Amen. Uh, questions and comments, you can put it. A man that cannot be a decision maker, even in the small things. You take him out of a restaurant, I know what you want to order. Um, I'll, I'll take a number two. No, you know what? Make a number one. Don't know what to wear. What should I wear? I don't know what to wear this morning. What should I do? Where should I be? Where should I go? No, Those little areas. You you can't imagine. Jesus says, you were faithful in the little. Um, Then I'll, I'll, I'll add to you. I know you'll be faithful in the, in the much. But you can't even make little decisions. You're having trouble planning your day. How, if, if you're having trouble planning your day, how are you gonna be successful in the next five years? If you can't even plan your day properly, amen? Uh, so I really wanna encourage you, people of God, um, uh, you, know, and, 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 you know, and don't let the enemy say, well, that's gonna be a bad decision, don't do it. Because the enemy will always try to instill fear in you and make you see, you know what, that decision is the worst decision. You know, don't do it. It's not going to be edified. Listen, don't worry if you're the shit. Listen, I'm not, I don't try to prove to people I'm right. All I try to give people is the truth. Whether I'm right or wrong, my objective is to be truthful. My objective is not to, to prove my case to you or to validate myself to you. Um, so if I ask you, what do you see yourself in the next five years? I don't know. Lack of decisions. What's your purpose? I don't know. Um, but, you know, do you want to, you know, no, you're undecisive, unstable. Indecisive people equals instability. Unstable people cannot be trusted. I'll repeat that. Unstable people cannot be trusted because they're unstable mentally. They're unstable emotionally. They're unstable physically. They're unstable with their loyalty. You don't know what you can get from them. You have no idea. So in the name of Jesus, I bind any spirit of fear, perfectionism, or procrastination that will have you not make divine decisions. And today, let there be divine decisions that are birthed today. Let there be the sound of heaven that is giving you the direction of where you need to go today. In the name of Jesus. Small goals or long-term goals that you got to make. Budgets you got to make. Um, and don't procrastinate on a decision. Just, just do it. 
you know, it's like, well, I don't know if I should, and maybe I should wait and wait on the Lord. You know, I haven't seen the people that look for so much confirmation before making a decision. Look, people say, I never make a decision without confirming. I'm like, okay, that could be a double-edged sword, you know? Um, I know you, you know, you want confirmation and you want the dream realm, but there are certain decisions that God already gave you the conviction that you got to make and there'll be no more confirmation, but that he gave you. Um, so especially if you got a uh, man on your, on your page, share this, share this to men you out there, um, in the area of decision, uh, society is the way it is because men have, um, chose not to decide and the enemy will choose to decide for you. Once you don't under, once you don't decipher what to decide, uh, so I pray that this season you choose well and you choose His glory. In the name of Jesus, God bless you all. Pastor Daniel with Zion Christian Ministries, be a decision maker. Make the decision. Make the decision, and when you make the decision, you commit to the decision. Commit to it. Write it down. Amen. God bless you all. Love you all. I just wanted to really quickly touch on that the Lord put in my heart. On making decisions, especially for my apostolic men, that we got to be decision makers. If we're saying we're not going to do it, we're not going to do it. If we're saying we're going to back off, we're going to back off. We're, we're, we're just very um, faithful to the decisions that we make. So God bless you all. Take care.